Dungeons and Dragons has many legendary terrifying monsters for adventurers to face. Dragons, giants, beholders and more all strike fear into the hearts of the heroes who bravely face them. But no monster is more inherently malicious, calamitous, and corrupting than demons. Spawned in the infinite layers of the abyss, demons are the embodiment of chaos and evil, engines of destruction barely contained in monstrous form. Possessing no compassion, empathy, or mercy, they exist only to destroy. Demons are powerful and deadly foes for even high-level adventurers to deal with, and they come in a multitude of shapes, sizes, and power levels. And the ultimate among all of demonkind are the demon lords, semi-deific beings that rule entire layers of the abyss with nearly unrivaled power, commanding hordes of demons with but a word. And one among these demon lords rises above the rest, one whose self-appointed title, the Prince of Demons, was won by virtue of his unequaled power and influence. Many demons have challenged it, but none have proven able to defeat him and claim it. One whose reputation is such to strike fear into the hearts of gods. His name is Demogorgon. The Prince of Demons, the Sibilant Beast, the Master of the Spiraling Depths. Demogorgon is the embodiment of chaos, madness, and destruction, seeking to corrupt all that is good and undermine order in the multiverse, to see everything dragged howling into the infinite depths of the abyss. This mighty fiend towers a full 18 feet tall and is a meld of different forms. He has a reptilian lower body with a forked tail whose whip-like tips are armed with cruel blades and clawed web feet. In place of arms are long, powerful sucker tentacles, sprouting from the lumbering shoulders of a great ape-like upper body, surmounted by two hideous, baboon-like simian heads named Amael and Hethrodia, both equally mad, and their gaze brings madness and confusion to any who confront them. An insane assemblage of features and drives inside the Prince of Demons rages a secret war for control of himself. Demogorgon has two heads and therefore two minds, and each one seeks to dominate the other. Emael is the persona in control of Demogorgon's left head, while Hethrodia controls the right. Each is unable to control the other, nor could one slay the other without also perishing. Emael, the more charismatic and calculating, relishes in deception and wishes to break free from the other half. The more impulsive and feral Hethrodia relishes in destruction and cares not to be separated from his other half. By most definitions, this internal conflict would be described as insanity, but that would be applying inappropriate mortal standards to one whom such standards could never apply. Still, it is only this conflict between the two halves of Demogorgon's dual nature that keeps the Demon Lord's ambitions in check. The Prince of Demons inspires fear and hatred among the other demons and Demon Lords. He is served by all manner of lesser demons, some of which were actually created by him. Many powerful and unique greater demons serve him as well, and he commands armies of evil lizard folk, scheming yuan ti sadistic troglodytes, vampiric Ixotachetal, and countless shoals of abyssal aquatic predators. His close alliance with another demon lord, the ancient encrypted Dagon, has provided him with access to abyssal secrets that the other demon lords could only guess about. The methods of creating the powerful undead warlords known as Death Knights represent the least of these secrets, yet that alone is horrific and potent. Worshippers of Demogorgon are more likely to be scaly things that hide from the light than humans or members of other civilized races. The troglodytes worship him as Amanibor, the Sibylline Beast, and use his teachings to bring vile intelligence and fanaticism to the beasts of the wild. yuan Ti know him as Siosivash and raise great temples to him in sunken caverns. The unknowable Ixatachtal are his chosen minions on the material plane, and even they dare not speak his true name aloud. The rare human cults that venerate the Prince of Demons welcome piracy and cannibalism with open arms. Demogorgon craves blood and souls. His cultists offer up sacrifices in his name on black altars before double-headed idols. His followers often control the societies they live in, evil theocracies that were ruled by terror and violence. The priests of the Prince of Demons are thus often rulers as well. The clerics allied with Demogorgon are madmen, masochists, and psychopaths. Completely unfit for leadership, but often in charge nonetheless. However, Demogorgon's fell priests are not as interested in political power and conquest as they are in using their resources to serve their master. Demogorgon is also sufficiently powerful to patronage packs to warlocks, the most devout of which are granted magic boons, such as an aspect of his dual minds that confer resistance to mind altering effects. The Prince of Demons dwells in the 88th layer of the abyss, known as the Gaping Maw. This primal, tropical realm of Demogorgon reflects the bestial elements of chaos and evil, attracting feral demons and crude humanoids from throughout the abyss. 
these wrathful creatures gather under the banner of the mighty and resilient Demogorgon. The Gaping Maw has two aspects that belie Demogorgon's dual nature. The massive primeval continent covered in dense jungle houses the demons and mortals who serve Demogorgon, whereas the seemingly endless oceans and brine plants that surround the land conceal far more subtle adherence to the sibilant beast, such as Krakens, Aboliths, and the elusive Exitachidor. About a hundred miles off the shore of Demogorgon's capital city, Lamoriax, two imposing serpentine towers emerge from the turpid seas. Each ends in a minaret resembling an enormous fanged skull, and together the spires comprise the fearsome fortress Abysm, sanctuary of the Prince of Demons himself. Demogorgon stalks the halls and twisting stairs of Abysm, pondering the mysteries of the Abyss and setting grand plans into motion from his remote lair. The structure's towers extend so far below the gaping moss surface that they open into the mysterious Shadow Sea, Dagon's realm of the 89th layer of the Abyss. His pact with the reclusive aquatic Oberth has led to powerful discoveries and experiments, many of which stalk the corridors of Abysm in sentient form. But in his success, the Prince of Demons has also made countless enemies both great and small, the greatest of which, Orcus the Demon Prince of Undeath and Grost the Dark Prince, challenged Demogorgon for his title as mightiest among demonkind. For eons, the three demon lords have warred and their armies have been locked in the three-way stalemate for near as long. The ever-expanding web of alliances and betrayals made by the war between these three is a spiraling vortex that pulls all other major powers in the Abyss into the conflict in some fashion or another. The origins of Demogorgon are shrouded in mystery, and there are many conflicting legends about how the Prince of Demons came to be. One account claims that Demogorgon was originally a primordial elemental, and the first of his kind to set foot in the Abyss shortly after the formation of the plane. Upon coming into contact with the legendary Shard of Evil, he was transformed into the Demon Lord all now know and fear. Another legend claims that he was the first of the demons who originated out of the consolidated fear of mortal souls by the Oberynth entity, the Queen of Chaos, the original ruler of the Abyss. Cast aside by her as a deformity and a failure, with his boneless arms and twin heads, Demogorgon lay unheeded, while the Queen of Chaos attempted to better shape other primal mortal emotions into more refined demons. But left to his own devices, the newly formed Demogorgon began consolidating power and territory in secret. And the Queen of Chaos's rule was not to last, as her demons rebelled against her and eventually overwhelmed her. Following the defeat of the Queen of Chaos, the leading demon lords, Grost and Orcus, competed for the title of Prince of Demons. But Demogorgon, who had grown stronger during his exile, launched a massive assault throughout the plains to crush his rival's forces. After he slew dozens of demon lords, draining their life forces with his tentacles, even Grost and Orcus were forced to acknowledge Demogorgon's superiority. Thus, Demogorgon asserted his position as Prince of Demons. For all of his raw power and brutality, the Prince of Demons is also fiercely intelligent. Demogorgon disdains direct confrontation, recognizing the needlessness of endangering himself when the employ of servants or lieutenants, of which he has many, will suffice. Simultaneously, this also serves as a display of power and influence. Powerful Balors and Hezrau, twice the size seen elsewhere, serve the Prince of Demons as important enforcers, bodyguards, and assassins. And if Demogorgon must enter the fray himself, woe to thee who faces his wrath. The Prince of Demons has a host of powerful inherent combat abilities with which to dominate and slaughter his foes. His tentacles have not only a whopping plus 17 to hit and 3d12 plus 9 damage output, but can also reduce the target's maximum hit points by the amount of damage taken. His magical gaze has three individual and devastating effects. His beguiling gaze can stun a target completely. His hypnotic gaze can not only charm the target, but give over full control of the target to Demogorgon. And his insanity gaze causes identical effects to the confusion spell, which assaults and twists creatures' minds, spawning delusions and provoking uncontrolled actions. To add to this, Demogorgon is also an inherent spellcaster, with access to the spells Dispel Magic, Fear, telekinesis, feeble mind, and project image. And more than a simple offensive powerhouse, Demogorgon's defenses are nothing short of magnificent. Sporting a hulking 22 armor class, 406 hit points, resistances to cold, fire, and lightning damage, immunity to all non-magical slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing damage, imperviousness to being charmed, exhausted, poisoned, or frightened, magic resistance, legendary resistance, and a range of 120 foot of true sight, Good luck taking down the greatest of all demons. So that's it. Everything you need to know about Demogorgon. Now you can have fun terrorizing your players with a monster whose very name should send shivers down their spines and create groans and whimpers around your table. And don't forget to tell us in the comments below just how it goes.